join us. Nobody does Star Wars like the power of the Force from Kenner. Hey, Star Wars fans and action figure collectors. Welcome back to another episode of Power of the Force Fridays. We're taking a little jump forward from being back. We're going back to the future. 1998, sort of coming towards the end of the Power of the Force 2 line. Has Bros Eagerly amping up for the Phantom Menace to be released the next year in 1999. Hasbro started going through and doing a lot of scene-specific characters, um, getting a lot more accurate portrayals, better-looking sculpts, you know, accurate-looking physique. Example. <laughs> Apples and oranges right here, my friends. Um, yeah, they sort of toned down on the... Uh, toned down on the roids. But uh, yeah, I'll leave a link to this video right at the end of the video here. So if you want to skip forward and have a look at this, I'll, you know, I'll put my link to the review for that one. So yeah, this one, obviously a deleted scene specific figure because we never got to see Luke wearing the, uh, wearing the bucket hat in A New Hope. A lot deleted scenes, you can see it. Um... Even a lot of pictures, I think. It might even be one of the storybooks came out with the pit, with Luke in that deleted scene with the bucket hat where he's out in the desert fixing the uh, fixing the moisture evaporator and he, he spots the two ships in, in space overhead and he's got his binoculars here. And he's got his... He's got his rifle here too. Unfortunately, this would look so cool side by side with the land speeder but i don't have believe it or not after all these years i still don't have a three and three quarter inch scale land speeder missed out on the vintage collection one some years ago um did pick up the six inch scale black series one um but yeah i just never had a land speeder before not even power of the force so that's i feel like something that needs fixing in my collection it's a, such an iconic vehicle but yeah, this one was part of the flashback photo. This is where they started started teasing for what was to come. As you can see, 1998 Hasbro, Port Tucker, Rhode Island, all rights reserved. Looks film. Then we go to Anakin Skywalker. Luke Skywalker. Anakin. Luke. Anakin. Luke. Anakin. Luke. Luke and Anakin. Luke and Anakin. <laughs> so that was a cool little thing just just as a little tease you know probably didn't think about it too much when i was a kid but here we are so I'll give it a look at his his rifle because i remember the power of the force uh land speeder had a little clip on it and you could actually put this rifle on the front of it so yeah, this is made out of a really soft, malleable plastic. Um, yeah, and we started seeing more articulation, as you can see the elbows. They're not the prettiest of joints, but uh, let's give them a break. This was 1998. It does come with his binoculars. Now they're on the floor. And thanks to editing, they're now back in my hand again. So that's that's convenient. His little macro binoculars there. Let's see, I think it's this hand will hold them a little bit better. And it's on the floor again. And sadly, due to editing, I can actually find them, but <laughs> we're just going to get on with the review. That's a that's a job for me later. I'll have to get down on all fours and climb under the desk to find the damn things. But yeah, as you can see, it does peg onto his belt there, so you can just have him looking. But, you know, being able to put the arms up, hand swivels. This was this was pretty new. So you get, those, get the angle, get the head. Ball and socket head. I don't think I ever realized that on this figure. There you go, ball and socket. This is sort of what we're getting these days with figures, just with the extra joint in the head, of course. But you know, there's the bucket hat. And all its buckety glory. Ooh. 
But again, in comparison to figures these days, you know, it's, you know, they've gone for the sort of pretty standard look for Luke. It's still better than this. Yeah. Looks like he's been on the, uh, the spice melange. <laughs> and Con does here too. <laughs> the desert spice melange. Um, yeah, obviously, like I said, they've gone back to a little bit more of a realistic sort of frame. Build of fig, build of character. You know, you've got the sort of baggy shirt. A little bit of weathering on the boots. The wrapped up around, around the legs there. It's got the other sort of tall belt around the back. You know, they were still doing these, these elbow hinges in 2005. You know, it's still, it was only seven years after this, but yeah, it wasn't until sort of after that Revenge of the Sith period, they sort of done away with those. But you know what, this is a, this is a nice look to have in the collection. It's, you know, it is scene specific, but you know, if you get a, I don't know, maybe one day they'll, they'll update farm boy Luke and we'll be able to, you know, give him the bucket hat and, you know, you can display him. A little bit differently on your shelf because I think he still does like if you put the bucket hat on you can put him with you know Biggs and Cammy and Fixer if you have those two figures and you know have that sort of scene have that deleted scene as part of it I do currently have a slightly more updated version of Luke who comes with the uh the poncho as well and the bucket hat And yeah, this one only sort of came out a year later. Um, it's, it's pretty sure. 1999. This is probably slotted into the Power of the Jedi line in 2000. But yeah, diff slightly different hat. Or is it? No, I think it's the same hat, just a slightly different paint job. They sort of went a little bit smaller with the uh, with the lenses. That one, they sort of just painted the whole thing. Yeah, probably not. as good, but, you know, it still works. Once he's got the bucket hat, he hides under the poncho. But yeah, for a year later. That one works fine. That one goes on my, sort of, with my new Hope figures. But there is... Floppy Hat Luke, as he is affectionately known on the interwebs. Floppy Hat Luke. So I'm going to leave it for this week. Thank you very much for watching. I need to go hunt for some binoculars. Let me know what you think. It's one I thought folks would find interesting. Nice when they started getting a little bit more specific with some of the scenes and characters. And yeah, it was a good time. Good time, 1998. Peak hype for Phantom Menace coming up. I will be doing some Phantom Menace figure figures in through May. I'm going to make that sort of a bit of a Phantom Menace month and showcase a few figures every week for the whole month. And uh, yeah, we'll see how that all goes. But um, so Power of the Force Fridays will take a break through May, and uh, yeah, we're going to have a little bit of fun with the Phantom Menace figures for Fridays in May. So appreciate you all tuning in. We'll catch up with you next week. We'll see you later. May the force be with you always.